previously on Project Runway. And now you face your biggest challenge, a 12-piece collection for Olympus Fashion Week. I said what I said in the moment. I mean, that's great you're saying that now, but during the show, I don't think you were coming off that way. Right. Daniel, you have a lot of issues. Details are really what hold it together. Do you see how uneven it is? If Daniel doesn't recognize anything that's wrong with his collection, you know, I'm kind of worried for him. We have one final surprise. You have one more look that you have to create. Ugh. I've been saying since day one, I cannot design another piece. And ironically, my life depends on it. We had two days before the runway show, and Heidi drops the bomb that there would have to be a 13th outfit shown on the runway. This is such a freaking circus. I don't think anyone understood what us three went through to get here. I think about the magnitude of New York Fashion Week. If I do want to compete, I need to make a 13th look. We were able to pick one of the designers to help us execute our 13th look. Chloe picks Diana, I pick Andre, and Daniel picks Nick. There's the option where you can lay smooth, or do you want a, something? I'm just taking a look. At Mood, I chose this beautiful mohair camel. It's it's so smooth. Really smooth, so smooth. Yeah, 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 totally. I really loved Daniel's collection. Just fabulous, clean, elegant American sportswear. But you've got to do all the finishing touches on top of the fact that I have to finish the, the 13th outfit. This fabric, when you sure it, mm -hmm. at least it has that volume look. I think my collection, it really is my fantasy fashion show. I was definitely missing another gold piece. Okay, here's my chance to do an actual gold dress. We should make sure it's not in the same length as the other gold dress. Or oh, no, the other gold dress, dress is on a six foot tall model. Chloe's so just really distraught about everything. She had been working very hard and then this additional 13th piece just kind of made things worse. Since I know you can drape and I know you can knock it out, I'd rather do what I need to do. I said, Miss Diana, you are responsible for the 13th piece. I don't want to even think about it. Let's not make it complicated. I ended up purchasing some jersey from Mood. I commenced to thinking more about what this 13th look was going to look like, but I didn't really know solid what I was going to make. You should make it still working with everything else. Santino, he's so stressed out. There's so much to think about. I'm freaking out, Andre. I'm making this 13th look, but it's just like dragging my feet the whole way doing it. The deadline is 1 a.m. for tonight. I don't know how I'm going to finish my collection. Should I drop it like an inch? There isn't enough time for any of us to work with this 13th outfit. I'm f Really? Oh, you made it way complicated. Finish it by 1 o'clock. Miss Diana, she's there to, you know, do the 13th piece. She's slowly doing it, though. She's killing me. Let's go, guys. Start packing up. We're ready. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. Good night, Banana Republic. I'm exhausted. I'm drained. I know myself as a businesswoman. Do what I have to do. Whether I send a 13th look or I just send out a naked model, this isn't the end all be all of me as a designer. I'm extremely, extremely tired. What happened to Chloe? Chloe! <laughs> Chloe! The objective Thank is you. to stay awake today. Stay awake and make some fashion. Do you know how many designers would kill for this opportunity? To make sh and send it down the runway in front of all of New York and the world? <laughs> Good morning. Look who I have. Hi, 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 Hi
consulting makeup artist for L'Oreal Paris. Okay, you guys, let's go to the L'Oreal Tech Center and uh, work on these looks. <laughs> Depending on the outfit that they're wearing, you can adjust the color. I was going for kind of a windblown, rosy cheek look. I love it. The chair. This is the clothes is strong. Then I definitely want the girl to be light and pretty. Some lightness coming out of also their features. And see how fresh the white looks. Mm -hmm. no, I love it. And the little flush on the, on the cheek. Each individual piece, you can throw color in there. Like the makeup is all about the eyes. It's gonna be kind of a, a really beautiful smoky eye. I still have so much to do, color. Yeah, one eye is fine. Okay, you get it. You get it. I get it. <laughs> Done. Yeah, perfect. Quick study. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, come on. We got sewing to do. He's gone at the makeup right now. I'm looking to make sure that I stay within his parameters. It's going to be a dress or some permutation thereof. I'm feeling good. I think we're in a good state. Hi, kids. Hey, designer. Mama's home. In my collection, it's uh, 40s Hollywood glamour. Andre came up with a couple of ideas, and we've got it down of what it's going to be. It'll complement my collection really well. Your scene is here and here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Danielle, we're getting the 13th look together. You look stunning. It's just gorgeous. You like it? Yeah. Yeah? It's coming together. We tried on the 13th look, and I just kind of see it as being amazingly beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah, just you did it. Oh, it's coming. Daniel. The 13th dress? Yeah. It is by far a benefit. I knew you. it would be good for you. It looks so cute. Nick did an amazing job sewing it. It invigorates the collection. I love it. Yes, I'm so happy right now. That's great. I love it. I love this piece. It does accentuate my collection, and I think it, it pulls it together. It, it was an element that I was missing. How about the 13th look? I don't know yet, but I love the body and the shape. But where is it? I'm very, very worried about finishing. At the end of the day, I still have a lot to do. This part is going up here on the straps, and it has pockets. That's curved with the pink. Why are you bothering with a pocket at this hour? It's not it's that hard. It's really cute when she walks with her oh, hands in the she puts her hands in? Uh -huh. Okay. All your models have been in? I'm missing one girl. I'm not done. I'm not organized. I am really, really stressed. Final three. I need you to gather round. Assistance, I need you to keep working. Tonight, in bringing all these looks together, think about the Banana Republic accessories, including the shoes. Now, the purpose of the bag is to determine the order in which you're going to present during Olympus Fashion Week. So the first person I'm going to pull out is Daniel. All right. Next we have... Chloe. Oh, God. It's perfect. And I don't need to pull the final button. We know who it is. Here, so you can see. That's your name on it. You can work here until 4 a.m. You have a 5.30 a.m. call tomorrow. So I will see you there. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you, Tim, for everything. Chloe. I know. Thank you. It's going to be a great day tomorrow. Everything needs to be organized into an order, and I have no order yet. Yeah, that's cute. We knew we had a matter of hours before we had to leave to go to the tents, and we were so pumped up um, with adrenaline. He just kept pushing. Hi, Chloe. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You sometimes have to do fittings like a few hours before showtime. I think everything is good. It's so understated sexy. Can see you walk really quick. Love it. Love that transition. Check center back. 
it needs some extra care. I'll still be working on my collection all the way up to the, the time the models go out on the runway. I can just break down completely after it's all over. You want me to put the shoes with the accessories, right? I need the shoes back up front. Is this a top? I'm very emotional crazy right now. At this point, I'm just trying to hold it together because, you know, this is extreme. Andre Centino. 35 years, 35 years, let's again. go. Lordy, lord, here we go. <laughs> Coming up on Project... I think I've had four hours sleep in the past three days and pulled an all-nighter. We had to be at the tents at 5.30, so I think we had about 20 minutes to clean up and be ready and out the door. Nice, nice jacket. I bought it with Tim. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. If it's the difference between maybe skipping a few hours of sleep to make my first real impression on this fashion industry, obviously I'm doing it. I guess I'm not excited until I'm there. Like there's still work to be done. Showing at Olympus Fashion Week is why all of us got on Project Runway just to have that chance. Most young designer will never in a lifetime show at Olympus Fashion Week. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Oh my God, you guys. Shut Did up. you ever think this day was going to be here? Okay. Olympus Fashion Week. It is the pinnacle of American fashion. It's the Mount Everest of fashion. Oh man. We stopped and then we took it all in. We took a deep breath and we we all looked around. It was a huge moment. It, it really was intimidating to see about a thousand chairs and I mean just to see how big the place was and the fact that I would be showing here. There's some moments during this whole thing where like my hands start shaking, my heart beats like crazy and I'm like <gasps> the reality of what's about to happen freaks me out. Santino is showing. Santino is now showing. Starts here, first look, okay. Pretty much organized, right? So I'm not really sure where anything is of mine right now. I know it's Miss Diana. Is anyone so? There was obviously still a few things to be done on the collection and scary because Nick wasn't around and you don't have that second set of eyes and hands to kind of double check things. Wow. Hey, Andre. Okay, you got it. Good morning, honey. Hello. I'm here. One, two, three, four. Yes. Because of closures. Didn't have time, and it's a necessity. All right. So if that has to happen, then it has to happen. All right. I'm just surprised. It's all. Likewise. I'm going to go check on the hair because I want to make sure it's fine. That's not what I was... Okay. Nathaniel! Back. Bring Grace over here. Okay. No! Who did your makeup? No one was I don't like it. I had a lot of issues with makeup, actually, and hair. And I didn't want to be a bitch about it, but I'm like, look, this is my fashion show. This is my time to just demand what I really want. How do you feel about this and then just lighten it a little bit? It just to feel like a lightness coming from her, that's it. My God, lack of sleep is making me a diva. Just putting the last finishing touches, last finishing alterations, uh, you know, turning up hems. I'd love for his collection to look perfect because I really am rooting for him. Of course I am. So, you better win this. Yeah, I've done a lot of shows, but my makeup is not 
lot done. I think half my girls and hair still being worked on. So much better. Yeah. I need bags. Yeah. Bags. I'm missing a bag that has two purses in it. I was missing like, two handbags that I had done. Those were in another bag and they were nowhere to be seen. I know you weren't the hugest fan of my purses, but they're gone. What do you mean they're gone? They're gone. You know so, something? Things happen for a reason. Okay. Okay. No, I can't find my purses. Oh, no. Yeah. for your bag? Um, a thousand people should be. I don't know if anyone actually is. seconds away from actually showing my collection at New York Fashion Week. Came to make it to the final three. I did that and I came to win. The last time I saw my mother was in 2002. It's a luxury to, to fly home. I can't afford to do it. My mom just let me be who I am and I love the fact that she did that. I just want to see him. I want to kiss him and hug him and tell him what a great job he's doing and how proud I am of him. And I'm getting replaced. There was a mad rush at the very end looking for my purses. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You have absolutely saved me. Thank you. Throughout this whole process, I've tried to suppress how big this whole experience could be showing at Fashion Week. It's here. It's f***ing here. Five, six, seven, eight. It was such a struggle for me to do this collection that I was seriously okay with any outcome because I was so happy what came out of me. Okay, I'm ready. Thank you. finale show of Project Runway. It is very, very exciting for me, but even more exciting for our three designers backstage. They've been working very, very hard. I love them very much. I'm very proud of them. I now want to introduce to you our guest judge for today, and that is Will and Grace star Deborah Messing. Thank you very much for joining us today. And also we have Nina Garcia, fashion director of Elle magazine. And one of my favorite designers, Michael Kors. I want to thank you all for coming. Let's start the show. Thank you. I'm really nervous. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. Obviously, this has been um, a longer journey than most will know. Um, and I guess I just wanted to say I don't know where my family is, where my sister is, but I just want to say... Uh, <laughs> I love them very much, and um, this collection is for them. But everyone can enjoy it. Thank you. This is the first time in my life that I'm able to show professionals in the industry what it is that I'm all about, what it is that I'm capable of doing. It's just a very proud moment for me. Thank you. 
this time I was finishing up my senior year at FIT and the idea of having just finished up my first real fashion show at the largest tent at Bryant Park never would have crossed my mind. It's just insane. It's so fantastic, this whole thing. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for coming, especially my family, my friend, and my boyfriend. Anyway, I love you all. Um, there was a question about my passion for fashion, um, but this collection is definitely, I felt that I was very passionate. I was so passionate, I felt like I experienced immaculate conception. So here's my baby. To me, it's beautiful, and I hope you think it's as beautiful as I do. So enjoy. It's very different from what I did on the challenge just because I had several months. This is definitely more detail, more interesting patterns and cuts and line. I think it's definitely sexier. happy what came out of me. It's nice to have a challenge that you succeeded in your own standard. I thought my collection was so strong. The pieces were so strong. At the end of the day, a beautiful thing came out of me in my collection. It feels good to be here. Project Runway was an awesome opportunity for me. And, uh, you know, whether you love to hate me or hate to love me, 
You know, I'm not just a uh, good TV. I'm a great designer. And uh, you're going to see more of me, I swear. So um, where's my mom? Mom. I love you, Mom. My mom's the sh y'all. created my own music for the runway presentation. I wrote this track just for my clothes and I'm so excited. This is the beginning of many, 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 many shows to come. that I needed to tone it down a little and present something that is so beautiful that you just can't deny it. I feel like I made some really significant fashion. I don't have to be what you want me to be. The collection I presented is beautiful. <laughs> of my life. This is my mom, Catherine Rice, and uh, she's she's great. <laughs> I can't talk about her right now. He's a good He's so corny, but it honestly felt like I already won. Honestly, honestly. You look good. Hi. I'm Chad from People Magazine. How are you? I'm not really a Dan fan, but I'd have to say Daniel V. I would say Chloe. Well, I think that she has the personality to really make it in the industry. She has the talent and the professionalism. Santino, um, I like his work. He has his own very creative point of view. Coming up on Project Runway. All I want to do is rip that patch right off of her chest. You feel that your collection had a cohesiveness, yet I didn't, I didn't get, get it. it. The boobs were never where they were supposed to be. Welcome back to the runway. Before we start, I would like to congratulate you guys on making it this far. But as you know, only one of you can be the winner. Your challenge was to design a 12-piece collection for Olympus Fashion Week. 
We gave you $8,000 in the last few months to put it together. Two days ago, we asked you to create a 13th look. We gave you $250 and an extra pair of hands to create that outfit. I want to introduce the judges to you again. Fashion designer, Michael Kors. Hey guys, congrats. Nina Garcia, fashion director of Elle magazine. Hi guys. And our guest judge for today is Deborah Messing, star of Will and Grace. Mm -hmm. So let's bring out your models. Models, one of you also will be a winner today. The model paired with a winning designer will get a fashion spread in Elle magazine. Okay, let's start with Deborah. The thing that was really exciting today was seeing each one of you present a collection. Daniel, say a little bit about the story that you were looking to tell. The inspiration was Japanese sleekness and wanted to pair it with something that was in my everyday life and that was the military and that was seeing the war and seeing something that was everyday everywhere and I wanted to kind of merge the two together harmoniously through clean silhouettes. The dress is so pretty. It's really pretty and it has nothing to do with military. Like the dress really, there's nothing military about it. And all I want to do is rip that patch right off of her chest. Really? You can almost not see the dress because you're so distracted by the piece in the front. But it kept you looking, didn't it? But not in a positive way. Was this your 13th look? No. Uh-uh. It was the uh, camel cashmere. The little shift. V with the shift in the pocket. Good looking dress. Do you feel like the 13th piece, the camel dress, was it a chance to say, here's what I was missing? He, of course. Because I felt that now that you're telling me that that was your dress, I thought the dress was yeah, great. great. It brought the collection to a completely different place. I loved it. You were very good at giving us a range. You can make pants, you can make sweaters, and, and that's, that's challenging. But do you feel that your collection had a cohesiveness? To, to, me, to me, it did. You're telling me there's a little bit of an Asian undertone? Yet I didn't, I didn't get, get it. it. <laughs> you think that it all related, your your brocade, with your satins, it all told a story. To me it did, I had hoped, I mean, like I it said. It didn't relate in a way. It didn't relate. Nina, I would like to hear what you have to say about Santino's line. It felt to me a little bit out of character. There was a, a, a different maturity to your very different, very different than what we had very seen. Very out of character. Right. Today was quieter than anything you did throughout the whole season. It might appear quiet, but to me, it it's, it speaks very loudly. Can you speak specifically to this collection? Yes. You know, I thought about 1940s Hollywood glamour and boudoir pics from that same era. I thought it was very safe. I, I did feel like, oh, are they going to think I'm too safe? Are they going to think that, like, oh, I've been, you tamed the beast? I feel like with every piece that I created for this collection, I, I put everything into it. I also think that you thought about it, and it was a more mature Santino, and I appreciated that. Who helped you fit your clothes? And you, I Did mean, you have? I, you had, I hadn't seen any of my garments on a human being until you I... You were doing it all in the dress form? Yeah, all on the dress form. Because I do have to say, I have problems with your tops. When I was looking at all the girls come down, the boobs were never where they were supposed to be. I kept thinking to myself, he hasn't seen these things on a person. When you do go very refined, yes. which is what you did today, right. the fit's the most major part of it. I don't want you to stop being Santino. Right. Because what I think is so great about Santino is your style. And you definitely do belong in fashion. So please don't ever have a doubt about that. Thank you, Nina. Deborah, I would like to know what you think of Chloe's collection. I think it's really beautiful. I felt that you had these really beautiful, um, heavy fabrics and very structured dresses. So it, your statement was 
dresses. Evening Basically, wear. evening mm -hmm. clothes. Yeah. Which I know. love. What about Chloe doing separates? Why not something day? Was it mm -mm. evening because you thought it was more dramatic or just what you really love? It's just, or, or is it easier? No, definitely not easier. When I do my collection for my own store, I do sportswear. This was my chance to do the evening collection that I always wanted to Your do. fantasy? Yes, it was my fantasy collection. Who do you design for? I do really woman-friendly stuff. I dress all age range. That's why you saw youthful, mature, because I have to sell this at the end of the day. A dress that I sell at my store, a 15-year-old will buy, and like the next day, a 30-something. I do think about this. I'm just, in a way, designer slash marketer. Also, what I noticed a lot was these little shrugs mm -hmm. matching with the dress. I mean, I don't know. It's not personally me. I would never do matchy, 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 same thick fabric. You can remove it. That was the option. And to me, that's how I was blending the, the collection, too, to make it cohesive. What was your 13th? The gold dress, baby the gold doll only, short one. The baby doll one was your 13th. I thought that was fantastic. Died to do that one. <laughs> Did not want to do that one. Did it tell the story that you had planned to tell? I think so. For me, it was about doing what I love, which is the structure pieces. And I love silk chiffon, too. And I love tailoring it. I did the suit. I mean, I did stuff that I really loved so that if I had to defend it, at least I loved it. I would like to know from you, Santino, what you have that the other two designers do not have. I know beautiful things. I create beautiful things, and I feel like I have the confidence and I have the ability to say what I want to say, regardless of whether it's going to come off crazy or it's going to come off as safe. Some of the pieces in this collection that I designed today are, are things that quite possibly could be forever. Chloe, I think we all have the passion, the designability, the creativity, but I'm a real business person. If I win, this is going to be a real business, bottom line. Daniel. The one thing that I have that, that Centino and Chloe don't have is my point of view. I think it's something that the American public wants to relate to. There's a lot of things that I have yet to learn. But I think that this is what I love to do, this is my passion, and I wouldn't be happy doing anything else. Okay, we have a very tough decision to make. We're going to call you back, and then you will find out who will be the winner of Project Runway. Thank you, you can leave the runway. Thank you. What do we think of Santino's line? As a collection, I think Santino's was not cohesive to me. In my inimitable way, I have to say I was a bit underwhelmed. I thought they were safe. He tried to show us that he could make refined clothes. But then, now that it's not about shredded ruffles, you see that the clothes don't fit. You know, to hear him talk, he's a passionate man. Oh, it's from the soul. You know, you know that he thinks about it and he cares. He's got it. gut and emotion, which fashion needs. I don't know if we've just, you know, beaten him down, but I think Santino is a great creative thinker. <sighs> Chloe, throughout the competition, She's always very professional and polished. It's mesmerizing to look at Chloe's work. It fits perfectly. I love where she puts the, the, uh, the seams. seams. They really go in curves. They're really on very unusual places. She definitely knows how to dress women. She understands women's bodies. I don't know if she knows how to put on a show. But I just think there's not a lot of showmanship. I would have liked to see it be more versatile. You know, it's very one note. I look at Daniel and I think he hasn't had a lot of experience, but he's got very sophisticated taste for someone who's 24. My favorite piece of Daniel's was the 13th. Yes, the 13th. 13th hour. Yes. The fact that 
that that dress was the 13th one. He took it as an opportunity to fill a hole. And Warren's piece is very interesting. With Daniel, there was more range, but he didn't tell a story to me. We've got this military thing, and we've got a little bit of an Asian thing. I didn't get it. And I also think Daniel is very young. Well, that's the other thing that I love about him is that he wants to learn. So we made up our mind. It's hard for me to say who my favorite is yet. I'm really torn between Chloe and Daniel. He needs experience. Yes. She just needs someone to say, okay, let's figure out how to put on a show. So Santino is out for the picture if we... Well... Oh my God, it's so hard for me because I really like all of them. I've made up my mind. I made up my mind. Have you made up your mind? I made up my mind. Whoa. (laughs) We're all sure that we made the right decision here? Yes. Okay, let's call them back out. Designers, this was a very tough decision. But only one of you can be the winner of Project One Way. Designers, this was a very tough decision. But only one of you can be the winner of Project One Way. Santino, we respect your creativity, but we didn't see enough of you in this collection. I'm sorry, you're out. Santino. Auf Wiedersehen. Thank you. We'll see you all right. Yes. Thank you very much. Good luck. It sucks to, to hear that they thought that me being subtle and sophisticated was me being safe. It doesn't feel very good to be a loser, but um, I'm not a loser. I'm a winner. There are two of you left. One of you will be named the winner of Project Runway. Daniel, your range, your versatility, your taste level have been impeccable. And we did see that in your collection. Chloe, you understand women. I hope so. (laughs) Your clothes were memorable. They were beautifully made. And we know that you have great business sense. Congratulations. Are you kidding me? You are the winner of Project Runway. No way. (laughs) We loved what you did. You had very memorable pieces. We thought you did a great job, and we believe that you are the next great American designer. see you too out there. I know. Okay. I've got to tell you something. We had a very tough time with this and uh, if you're looking for a job, definitely give me a call. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much again. Thank That's you so nice. much for the time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Grace. Yes. Okay. Bye you guys. Bye. 
I'm still very proud of my collection. Uh, I will definitely be showing again um, at some point. The tents definitely haven't seen the last of me. It's so good. It's all good. Congratulations, Grace. Grace. She won. You get the spread in Elle magazine. Congratulations. Hell yeah, I'm happy for Chloe. I think that she did a great job. And having a spread in Elle in Chloe's clothes is amazing. Where's the family? Congratulations. My mom wanted me to win so badly. My sister, they're so happy. <laughs> Freaking out. I want Project Runaway. You really can't say that I shouldn't be a designer anymore. It's no Franco moment. <laughs> I do love this. I must love this because it was like seven months of like doubts and like sacrifice and hard work. Okay, don't make me cry. I cry enough on this show. <laughs> now you're making us cry. Congratulations. Thank you. Mwah. Yay. Yes, we have a winner. Congratulations. I am excited that I won. I am the winner of Project Runway. Oh my God. I'm a real designer. Oh. Visit bravotv.com to learn more about today's show. Chloe, you were the winner of Project Runway, and you were the winner of a 2007 Saturn Sky. <laughs> we look forward to watching what happens with your career. Nothing like a convertible, baby. <laughs> Previously on Project Runway. And now you face your biggest challenge. 12 piece collection for Olympus Fashion Week. I said what I said in the moment. I mean, that's great you're saying that now, but during the show, I don't think you were coming off that way. Right. Daniel, you have a lot of issues. Details are really what hold it together. Do you see how uneven it is? If Daniel doesn't recognize anything that's wrong with his collection, you know, I'm kind of worried for him. We have one final surprise. You have one more look that you have to create. Ugh. I've been saying since day one, I cannot design another piece. And ironically, my life depends on it. We had two days before the runway show, and Heidi drops the bomb that there would have to be a 13th outfit shown on the runway. This is such a freaking circus. I don't think anyone understood what us three went through to get here. I think about the magnitude of New York Fashion Week. If I do want to compete, I need to make a 13th look. We were able to pick one of the designers to help us execute our 13th look. Chloe picks Diana, I pick Andre, and Daniel picks Nick. There's the option where you can lay smooth, or you want a, something. I'm just taking a look. At Mood, I chose this beautiful mohair camel. It's it's so smooth. Really smooth. So smooth. Yeah, 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 totally. I really loved Daniel's collection. Just fabulous, clean, elegant American sportswear. But you've got to do all the finishing touches on top of the fact that I have to finish the, the 13th outfit. This fabric, when you sure it, mm -hmm. at least it has that volume look. I think my collection, it really is my fantasy fashion show. I was definitely missing another gold piece. Okay, here's my chance to do an actual gold dress. We should make sure it's not the same length as the other gold dress. Or oh, no, the other gold dress, dress is on a six foot tall model. Chloe's so just really distraught about everything. She had been working very hard and then this additional 13th piece just kind of made things worse. Since I know you can drape and I know you can knock it out, I'd rather do what I need to do. I said, Miss Diana, you are responsible for the 13th piece. I don't want to even think about it. Let's not make it complicated. 
I ended up purchasing some jersey from Mood. I commenced to thinking more about what this 13th look was going to look like, but I didn't really know solid what I was going to make. We should make it still work in with everything else. Santino, he's so stressed out. There's so much to think about. I'm freaking out, Andre. <laughs> I'm making this 13th look, but it's just like dragging my feet the whole way doing it. The deadline is 1 a.m. for tonight. I don't know how I'm going to finish my collection. Should I drop it like an inch? There isn't enough time for any of us to work with this 13th outfit. I'm f***ed. Really? Oh, you made it way complicated. Finish it by one o'clock. Miss Diana, she's there to, you know, do the 13th piece. She's slowly doing it, though. She's killing me. Let's go, guys. Start packing up. We're ready. Let's go. Let's go, y'all. Good night, Banana Republic. I'm exhausted. I'm drained. I know myself as a businesswoman. Do what I have to do. Whether I send a 13th look or I just send out a naked model, this isn't the end all be all of me as a designer. I'm extremely, extremely tired. What happened to Chloe? Chloe! <laughs> Chloe! The objective Thank is you. to stay awake today. Stay awake and make some fashion. Do you know how many designers would kill for this opportunity? To make shit and send it down the runway in front of all of New York and the world? <laughs> Good morning. Look who I have. Oh, you're strong. Consulting Good. makeup artist for L'Oreal Paris. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's go to the L'Oreal Tech Center and uh, work on these looks. <sighs> Depending on the outfit that they're wearing, you can adjust the color. I was going for kind of a windblown, rosy cheek look. I love it. The chair. Since the clothes are strong, then I definitely want the girl to be light and pretty. Some lightness coming out of also their features. And see how fresh the white looks? Mm -hmm. no, I love it. And a little it. flush on the, on the cheek. Each individual piece, you can throw color in there. Like the makeup is all about the eyes. It's going to be kind of a, a really beautiful, smoky eye. I still have so much to do, Colin. Yeah. One eye is fine. Okay. You get it. You get it. I get it. <laughs> Done. Yeah, perfect. Quick study. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, come on. We got sewing to do. Santino, he's gone at the makeup right now. I'm looking to make sure that I stay within his parameters. It's going to be a dress or some permutation thereof. I'm feeling good. I think we're in a good state. Hi, kids. Hey, designer. Mama's home. In my collection, it's uh, 40s Hollywood glamour. Andre came up with a couple of ideas, and we've got it down of what it's going to be. It'll complement my collection really well. You're seeing us here and here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Danielle, we're getting the 13th look together. You look stunning. It's just gorgeous. You like it? Yeah. Yeah? It's coming together. We tried on the 13th look, and I just kind of see it as being amazingly beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah, just you did it. No, it's coming. Daniel. The 13th dress? Yeah. It is by far a benefit. I knew you. it would be good for you. It looks so cute. Nick did an amazing job sewing it. It invigorates the collection. I love it. Yes, I'm so happy right now. That's great. I love it. I love this piece. It does accentuate my collection, and I think it, it pulls it together. It, it was an element that I was missing. How about the 13th look? I don't know yet, but I love the body and the shape. But where is it? 
I'm very, very worried about finishing. At the end of the day, I still have a lot to do. This part is going up here on the straps, and it has pockets. That's curved with the... Why are you bothering with a pocket at this hour? It's not it's that hard. It's really cute when she walks with her hands in the pocket. she puts her hands in? Uh -huh. Okay. All your models have been in? I'm missing one girl. I'm not done. I'm not organized. I'm really, really stressed. Final three. I need you to gather round. <laughs> Assistance, I need you to keep working. Tonight, in bringing all these looks together, think about the Banana Republic accessories, including the shoes. Now, the purpose of the bag is to determine the order in which you're going to present during Olympus Fashion Week. So the first person I'm going to pull out is Daniel. All right. Next, we have... Chloe. Oh, God. It's perfect. And I don't need to pull the final button. We know who it is. Here, so you can see. That's your name on it. You can work here until 4 a.m. You have a 5.30 a.m. call tomorrow. So I will see you there. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> and, uh, good luck. Thank you, Tim, for our breathing. Chloe. I know. Hey. Oh, thank right. you. It's going to be a great day tomorrow. Everything needs to be organized into an order, and I have no order yet. Yeah, that's cute. We knew we had a matter of hours before we had to leave to go to the tents, and we were so pumped up um, with adrenaline. He just kept pushing. Hi, Chloe. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You sometimes have to do fittings like a few hours before showtime. I think everything is good. It's so understated sexy. Can see you walk. Love it. Love that transition. Check center back. It needs some extra care. I'll still be working on my collection all the way up to the, the time the models go out on the runway. I can just break down completely after it's all over. You want me to put the shoes with the accessories, right? I need the shoes set up front. Is this a top? I'm very emotional crazy right now. At this point, I'm just trying to hold it together because, you know, this is extreme. Andre Centino. 35 years, 35 years, let's again. go. Lordy, lord, here we go. <laughs> Coming up on Project... I think I've had four hours sleep in the past three days and pulled an all-nighter. We had to be at the tents at 5.30, so I think we had about 20 minutes to clean up and be ready and out the door. Nice, nice jacket. I bought it with Tim. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's the difference between maybe skipping a few hours of sleep to make my first real impression on this fashion industry, obviously I'm doing it. I guess I'm not excited until I'm there. Like, there's still work to be done. Showing at Olympus Fashion Week is why all of us got on Project Runway, just to have that chance. Most young designer will never in a lifetime show at Olympus Fashion Week. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready for this? Are you ready? Oh my God, you guys. Shut Did up. you ever think this day was going to be here? OK. week it is the pinnacle of american fashion it's the mount everest of fashion oh man we stopped and then we took it all in we took a deep breath and we we all looked around it was a huge moment it, it really was intimidating to see about a thousand chairs and I mean just to see how big the place was and the fact that I would be showing here. There's some moments during this whole thing where like my hands start shaking, my heart beats like crazy and I'm like <gasps> the reality of what's about to happen freaks me out. Santino is showing 
Santino is now showing. We're here. Starts here, first look, okay? Pretty much organized, right? So I'm not really sure where anything is of mine right now. I know it's Miss Diana. Is anyone so? There was obviously still a few things to be done on the collection and scary because Nick wasn't around and you don't have that second set of eyes and hands to kind of double check things. Wow. Hey, Andre. Okay, you gotta help me out. Hello, Miss Diana. What can I help you with? Hey, Daniel. Good morning, honey. I'm here. One, two, three, four. Yes. Because of closures. Didn't have time, and it's a necessity. All right. So if that has to happen, then it has to happen. All right. I'm just surprised. It's all. Likewise. I'm going to go check on the hair because I want to make sure it's fine. That's not what I was... Okay. Nathaniel! Bring Grace over here. Okay. No! Who did your makeup? No one was I don't like it. I had a lot of issues with makeup, actually, and hair. And I didn't want to be a bitch about it, but I'm like, look, this is my fashion show. This is my time to just demand what I really want. How do you feel about this? And then just lighten it a little bit. It just to feel like a lightness coming from her, that's it. My God, lack of sleep is making me a diva.